All right. Hello. Um, good morning, good evening, uh, good day, wherever you're tuning in from today. Um, and welcome to Data Plus Women uh, Germany. I am very happy to have you with us today, and I hope you will have a fabulous time with us. Before we head right into the talk, just a few words about Data Plus Women Germany. Um, so my name is Heidi Kalber, and I am one of the co-leads for Data Plus Women Germany. We are part of a global initiative that aims to, to offer an opportunity to learn and network in the area of data analytics. We want to uh, offer a platform where people can share their knowledge and experiences, and we are aiming to unite people from any gender in order to promote diversity in the data community. So, I know it's called data plus women, but no matter what, what, uh, what gender you are, what your academic background is, your age, your ethnicity, we welcome one and all, and we just want to make a, or create a safe data community for everyone. Emily Kuhnt said it best last year, well, the year before last at Tableau Conference 2019, she said it's data plus women, it's not data minus men, so we welcome everyone. We have a very nice agenda for you today. Uh, I am joined by Eugenia Kiss, who will talk to us about the Tableau Community Equity Task Force. After her presentation, you will have an opportunity to ask all the questions that you want, all about the Tableau Community Equity Task Force. Um, and afterwards, I will have a couple of announcements. And if you like, feel free to stick around for some networking. And with that, all I can say is it's great to have you with us. Have a lovely evening and over to you, Eugenia. Hello, everyone. So just very quickly, I will share my screen. Okay, so. So just checking if you can see my uh, screen right now where you can see Tableau yeah. Community Equity Task Force. Okay, great. So um, hello everyone. Again, um, today I will be presenting about Tableau Community Equity Task Force. So uh, it's about who we are, uh, what we do and how to get involved. Uh, but before we get started, I'd like to thank you Heidi uh, for this opportunity to present and spread the word about this initiative. Uh, and really, I would like also to say thank you for um, your inspiring contribution as well uh, for the community. I really actually especially enjoyed uh, your last event with uh, Mam Huvis, so I guess at some point I will also participate in it. And um, also, I would like to start with a short uh, bio, so a few words about me. I'm originally from Russia. I moved to Czech Republic when I was 18 for studying, and afterwards I moved to the Netherlands, where I live right now. And um, if I should put uh, just, you know, in one sentence, um, like in a nutshell about me, I'm data community enthusiast. Um, I used to work for a Tableau partner, Interworks. And um, here you can see, for instance, uh, me and my colleagues at Tableau conference. Um, and it was in uh, Tableau conference Europe 2019, which I would really, really recommend to everyone to join when it will be live again because it was always a lot of fun. And um, working for Interworks was also great. I mean, um, there were a lot of uh, different projects and I especially enjoyed um, the projects where I could uh, help uh, to build communities and uh, help people uh, to improve their data literacy in the organizations. Part of my job was also teaching Tableau and this was also a lot of fun. Um, but uh, since, this April, I actually um, um, yeah, quit in Interworks and uh, become, became freelancer um, and because right now I have a little daughter. So you can see uh, Sophie and me doing some uh, acro yoga. Uh, she's five and a half months old right now and I'm really enjoying time with her. And in parallel, also I'm doing right now a second degree in psychology. Uh, I'm also a co-leader of the Netherlands Tableau user group. I'm not sure if you attended it. If not, uh, there is a possibility to attend uh, also this Thursday. Everything is right now online. And this Thursday, we are partnering up with um, uh, this for social good. So uh, it's this Thursday if you're interested. I think there were some spots still left. And I'm also a member of Tableau Community Equity Task Force. And 
I'm happy to share with you uh, some updates about this initiative. So uh, this is the team. Um, uh, these are 12 members of the team, and among them are Zen Masters, Tableau Ambassadors, and uh, Tableau is a group leaders. I'm pretty sure that you recognize these people uh, because they're actively involved in Tableau community, and we all have different backgrounds. We are from different countries, obviously, different skin color and so on. <laughs> what, uh, what, what do you compare? Um, and what we do in a nutshell uh, is we are trying to make this uh, Tableau community more inclusive and more diverse. And uh, Tableau Community um, uh, Equity Task Force was launched uh, last year in September. And I think uh, being more than a year in, to, into pandemic and uh, what was happening during last years, but also especially accelerating, I would say last year, uh, like even just you will take uh, only uh, Black Lives Matter uh, movement. So I think it was about uh, right time when this initiative uh, like should take place. And I'm really, really happy that Tableau made this step. And uh, you will also see uh, this reflected in the vision and the mission that they're both also very broad, right? So let's just zoom in a little bit. Um, so the vision is to lower barriers, especially for new members. And it is also about inclusiveness, no matter uh, race, gender, physical appearance, neurodiversity, religion, age, and so on. And it's also about removing stereotypes and prejudice and making this community uh, more open and welcoming for everybody, making it a really uh, like safe space for everyone to participate. And obviously this change won't happen overnight, uh, but this is already a great step towards better future, which we can all build together. And uh, the vision also is to educate people and promote uh, data literacy with a broader, uh, broader Tableau community. So if you are talking about the mission, again, it's uh, quite broad and I would say even ambitious. Uh, and this is the mission only for this year. So let's zoom in and use some visual cues again. <laughs> um, so these are the initiatives that we are dedicating our time in this year. Uh, and the first one is to deploy mandatory diversity inclusion training for all community members. Uh, then second one is to increase diverse representation in community. Uh, and this especially would uh, uh, this is especially about Zen masters, ambassadors, Tableau public featured authors, and um, user group leaders. Uh, then we also aim to evaluate and address the community entry points uh, to ensure that um, it's inclusive opportunities for all. We also want to educate and engage the broader Tableau community uh, on our efforts uh, through content in events. Uh, I will talk about it a little bit later. And also the last one, I would say it may be the most challenging, is also develop a project uh, or partnership with uh, specific schools and uh, provide training and workshops on data literacy. So uh, I'm happy to give you some updates because we already, um, yeah, almost eight months um, into this project. And um, the first one is a Community Equity Task Force Gallery. Uh, it has been launched at the end of last year. And there you can find the collection of visualization that address um, inclusion, race, equity, and so on. And um, this gallery is updated on a regular basis. So if you have suggestions, um, which visits should also be included, please let us know. Uh, because um, at the moment they are organized by race, gender, education, uh, mental health, uh, media, uh, historical and, um, and media, yeah, and mental health. So it's updated on a regular basis. So please, uh, if you have visits that should be there, uh, we are happy to include them as well. Then uh, traditionally, uh, February is a, a Black History Month and there were a series of blogs and webinars during this February. Uh, for example, community member uh, Seku, Seku Tyler, um, he is one of the community equity task force. Uh, he was drawing the donation um, to Thurgood Marshall Foundation to support Black college community. And you can see uh, on this tweet update, he even created um, a chart 
uh, yeah, that how uh, the donation were going, how many, uh, how much money were raised, and there were in total 22 individual donation, and then Tableau also contributed with 10,000 euros. Just one of the examples. Uh, then you probably heard about uh, Racial Equity Data Hub, um, which was launched also this February uh, this year. And um, obviously this was uh, a big project for, it was, uh, for several months and um, few people from uh, our team was also involved there, were also involved there, uh, Chantile and um, um, Alan Hillary also, they, they are advisors on this project. And what is Equity Data Hub is about? Um, it is hosted by Tableau Foundation and uh, its partner organizations. And it's a platform for local organizations and advocates addressing racism in their communities. And on this hub, visitors can access, um, for instance, stories and case studies uh, from organizations working with equity data for impact. Uh, there is also a guide and resources for working uh, with American community survey data. Uh, it's one of the broadest and most uh, critical data sets for understanding demographical disparities in the United States. There are also resources for learning about uh, ethical use um, of race and equity data. And uh, there is also guidance towards data sets, visualizations, resources uh, in the pursuit of equitable education, justice, economic empowerment and political empowerment. And uh, what's also great about it, uh, again, there is also a chance to offer feedback um, and suggest additional resources. Just if I zoom in there again, um, so there are four, four focus areas. Uh, first is um, achieving equitable education. Uh, so with the data uh, addressing the barriers faced by the students of color and education system and ensuring that every student can succeed in school. Uh, second is advancing equitable justice and basically using data to understand where racial bias exists in the system and push for solutions and policies to eliminate it. The third one and the fourth is building economic power and um, what is also very important, building political power. And um, basically with this, um, the aim is uh, like data can uh, call attention for these needs and these data sets are also um, are ready to use for Tableau so that's why it actually took also quite long because uh, yeah they obviously need a lot of uh, preparation data preparation so they they can be used for Tableau. Uh, another disclaimer here uh, these are uh, US related data um, but again you should start somewhere and hopefully this can be expanded in the future to other countries and regions and, uh, and this is a great point again to get get um, yeah, inspired. And I can see also there are people from US joining, so there's definitely um, uh, you can relate to it. Um, okay, one of the missions uh, of the Equity Task Force um, were also to educate and engage broader community, and uh, by series of blogs, events, and webinars. And this was happening uh, throughout this year. And I will provide also some links at the end of the presentation or can also post them in a chat. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, and uh, so first one, um, which I really, really uh, like enjoyed myself, for example, um, there was serious series of blog posts. Um, and one of them was with Adam Miko and Hunter Hansen. Maybe you heard uh, of this blog post. It was about neurodiversity in data. And both of these gentlemen, they were um, diagnosed in, with autism and they were sharing the, their journeys. And as you probably know, uh, April is also Autism Awareness Month. So I think it's also uh, great to, like, to mention it right now. And in that blog post, they also were talking about basically data visualization and why it appeals to neurodivergent audiences as well as uh, tips how to make dashboards less distracting and more user-friendly. Um, I also especially enjoyed um, Data Plus Diversity Talk. Um, uh, it was a webinar um, uh, with VWEB uh, Dubois, William Dubois, and his visualization about progress of Black community. 
So you can see the screenshot of this talk. Uh, it's available on YouTube on, on Tableau channel. I really encourage everyone to, to join and to take a look at this because um, it was really amazing. Um, uh, like all this visualization, uh, they were done at the beginning of 20th century um, and was about the progress of black community in the United States. And you can see that it was pre pre tableau obviously, and um, it was really ahead of his time. And I would say it was really a piece of art probably. So it's uh, inspired a lot of people afterwards as well. Um, the next one, um, if we are talking about uh, some other things uh, which are on the list is diversity training for uh, Zen's ambassadors and user group leaders. Uh, with this, we are trying to achieve that, uh, especially user groups is a safe and welcoming space for everyone to participate, uh, to present and collaborate. Uh, and a good example, again, this is uh, your event, uh, idea, Data Plus Women, which gives opportunity for women to present, um, share their journeys. Or, for example, Tableau Tiny Talks, uh, which also gave a lot of opportunities for people from different minorities, like LGBT communities. Um, another talk right now, which is going on, is increasing accessibility in local languages. Um, so, for example, making some e-learning. Right now, you know that Tableau is offering a lot of e-learning, and some of it probably uh, then will be translated and be available in local language. It won't be happening probably anytime soon, but this is already uh, happening again. And uh, obviously making some blocks available also in, in local languages. Uh, then there will be more update on the mentorship program. Um, it's um, really progress uh, for now, but I just, you know, uh, want to give you a sneak peek. It's the idea is to partner up with organizations like uh, Black Girl Code and to provide support for young adults uh, so that they can have someone to ask uh, in general and have uh, some inspiring role model. So again, uh, this is like, you know, work in progress uh, and I cannot disclose uh, much on this. And then um, I would like to share how to get involved. And uh, first and foremost, um, I must say that uh, just you know, be active in Tableau community uh, because um, this is how you can actually participate and contribute the, the best. Uh, just you know, be involved in different projects like this for social good, uh, Moms Who Is, attend user groups, brain dates, which uh, I think one of the best things uh, from last two years and uh, present, share your knowledge and um, inspire others because we have all our own battles to fight, um, like over difficult to tackle. And what you are most patient about, this would be the best, like right, what you can do and how you can contribute. Then obviously I really uh, want to inspire you and um, tell you to join Data Plus Diversity user groups. So here's the link, um, I can share it again afterwards. And uh, there are already some recordings available on YouTube channel. Uh, if you are from, especially if you are from US, I recommend to join a racial equity data hub. Uh, again, these are US data and community equity task force gallery. And these are just worldwide and there are on several topics as well. And if you have feedback again, please let us know. And the last one, um, if you have feedback or ideas um, and you want to be like more involved, uh, please contact Jordan Scott. She's responsible for um, obviously like everyone knows her uh, for Tableau communities. Uh, and uh, one of the equity task force members with your ideas. Uh, here are some useful links that I mentioned and this would be available afterwards. And with this, I also would like to thank uh, Andy Grecker, Amanda Boyle, Steven Schwartz, Jordan Scott, and some other people from Tableau um, because they're driving this initiative on their side. And obviously like a lot of work is actually done on, on their side. And um, with this, I really would like to thank you for your time. Um, and I'm really happy to answer your questions if there are any. And from my side, um, I must say that um, it was a real honor. It is a real honor to be part of this team. And I've learned a lot uh, from these people and uh, really happy that I can also make a small contribution. So thank you for your attention and being here. Amazing, thank you, Eugenia. That was 
that was really inspiring, especially what you said in the end, that that everybody has their own like little package to bear and to just to make it like to make the community a safe space for everyone else also means it means it's a safer space for us. Uh, so that was that was really cool. Um, we don't have any questions from the crowd yet. And I did forget to mention that everyone, please feel free to, to use the Q&A feature to drop us any questions that you have. Um, but I personally have a few, um, so we're just going to uh, tie that over. Um, can you tell us a bit about uh, why you decided to be part of the uh, uh, Tableau Community Equity Task Force? Uh, yeah, there are several, okay. obviously, several okay. reasons. Uh, so first of all, um, I actually like, you know, I'm immigrant myself. So like, it's again, making it more inclusive, right? So um, I'm like, you know, I moved from Russia to Czech Republic. I lived there for a while. Then I moved to Netherlands. And then when I used to work for Interworks, I actually was traveling like uh, all over Europe and met a lot of people. So like, I also saw uh, and also I struggled myself, like, you know, a lot. <laughs> so I know how sometimes it can be intimidating to go and present, for instance, or just show your chart, you know, like, you know, to other people, uh, because you're like afraid of judging. Uh, and uh, yeah. And uh, then one of the things which um, I still was not very like vocal about it, but um, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder uh, two years ago. So um, especially like this near divergence, diver, divergence uh, in the community is very, very, I would say, um, not important to me, but uh, like I really understand how it is complicated if you have depression, anxiety or burnout or something like that. And I know that a lot of people in Tableau community as well have it. And um, that's why I, I think I like one of the things that I can contribute, I can also understand these people. So I think um it's great that we are all here so there is place for everyone and um, i really hope that uh, like you know especially like you know your uh, like what you are doing uh it's one of the things to like inspire other people and support other people as well in this way thank you yes absolutely um so one more question, what, what do you think, what can like each and every one of us do in order to, to create a safe community for everyone? Uh, it's a tough question. <laughs> I think that's why Tableau actually <laughs> launched this initiative because uh, that's, that's great that like they recognize it also. And I mean, we all recognize it, right? So if you take uh, like, let's, there was not many spaces, I guess, where like, you know, women could present or like people in color could present and step by step, it was like growing and growing. So maybe a good start is actually to, to ask questions, uh, like, you know, to ask questions why it is not um, still like that open. Um, and like from my side, um, uh, yeah, I, for instance, like try to educate myself. So I know that I personally was like uh, always like full of stereotypes and prejudices and this kind of things. And, you know, this is uh, so-called um, uh, Dunning-Kruger effect when you actually think that you know everything when you actually don't know. And um, which is also very interesting because most of the time when people are, they think that don't, they know, but they actually don't know, they're also the most self-confident. And this creates a lot of these problems, I would say, and barriers, right? Because then we actually just blind that this exists. So I think we just need to be humble and ask these questions ourselves. And let's say, like, how can I contribute? Like, uh, if maybe I already am not struggling with this, but maybe there are some people who are struggling with this and try to help them and elevate them. So, yeah, I would say start from there. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, I, I remember last year, I think it was last year when people were asking for, for Tableau ambassador nominations and there was a call to action to nominate somebody who is not like you. So for, for men, for example, to nominate a woman, for white people to nominate someone with a different skin color or to nominate someone from a different region. And I think that really helped me to, to realize that my network was pretty focused on white people in the western hemisphere um so realizing that like you can just reach out to more people and create those connections 
um, yeah, to, exactly. to get out of the yeah. level that was that was really helpful for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree, I totally agree with you because this is and this is great that Tableau actually like you know took this step right because uh, like you hear sometimes that in some organizations this is going on but Tableau community is also really worldwide right so it's also not an, only about the United States even though like it's maybe happening a bit faster there but uh, yeah that's great that we all can be connected through Tableau and we are all different so no totally agree with you yeah um what do you think what what can we do when we see discrimination in the data community uh don't be bystander <laughs> don't be bystander and be vocal about it um if you can create visualization about it if you can post it uh, about it on social media um and try to always see yeah, a thing as you mentioned outside of your own bubble because right now we all have these um, echo chambers yeah so um also social media like they're they're doing this like echo chamber so you only see what your other friends uh, like you know posting and it's quite rare that we can see what's actually happening outside of it um and again with the data we actually can start uh promoting these things that they are like promoting but bringing attention to it and this is one thing and maybe another thing with discrimination um and like working with the data uh, that we have. Also think about that uh, there is always a person like behind this data because yeah, like we quite often can forget that there is actually, it's like just numbers for us, but there are always many, many people behind them and everyone is actually unique. So um, yeah, be like, again, just try not to be bystander and try to be vocal in any way you can. So like, if you can create beautiful visualization, that's great. If you can post a blog about it, that's great. Make a podcast. So again, present at Data Plus Women and so on. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, we don't have any other questions at this time. So of course, everybody's still free to, to drop some questions. Um, I did drop the link for the upcoming Netherlands Tableau User Group event in the chat, so do check that out. It's um, the day after tomorrow, so Thursday at 4 p.m. Central European time. Eugenia, correct me if that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Perfect. And I also dropped the link to the uh, Data Plus Diversity um, webinar uh, exploring the data visualizations of WEB Dubois. Um, one more event coming up soon, so it's next week on Thursday, is uh, Tableau Live. So let me just share a couple things about that. Um, since we are already talking about Tableau today, I thought we might as well mention that one. So um, am I sharing the correct screen? Probably, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Always that one question. Um, so yeah, Tableau Live is coming up uh, next week on May 6th uh, from uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, British Standard Time. So that's 10, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central European Time. Um, and you can register for that. It's completely free and it's like a mini conference. So do make sure to join that if you're free at that time. Um, we are, you, uh, well, Tableau Live is going to offer you the opportunity to learn, to connect with other people, and of course, to have fun with it. Um, so just delving into Tableau, we are going to have uh, the, the opening address by Mark Nelson, so the new Tableau CEO. There's going to be three different tracks that you can join with a separate uh, session rounds. And then personally, I'm really looking forward to the executive keynote where we're going to have a CPO of Francois Agenstadt. We're going to have um, Stephanie Richardson and the futurist Shibi Jervis. So that's going to be amazing. And afterwards, there's going to be even more data discussions, um, which are going to be uh, regional and industry-based panels. So you can join something that is in your area of expertise afterwards and that's the bit personally i'm most excited about are the round tables and i'm going to tell you just a tiny bit about that in a second um so yeah again we're going to have three fantastic uh, keynote speakers that you can look forward to 
there's going to be a whole number of breakout sessions that you can join in, as I mentioned, three different tracks. You're always free to jump in between tracks, uh, but uh, they are in a similar topic. So for example, if you're interested in what's new in Tableau, you can find out about the newest version, uh, the Tableau Business Science track, and how you can supercharge your analytics with Tableau Data Management. Uh, there's going to be a whole number of data discussions. Again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to point you towards the website, so do feel free to check that out. Um, and as I mentioned, roundtables. So this is going to be a like mini video call feature that Tableau Live is offering. Um, you can host up to 15 participants, and I am going to host a Data Plus Women uh, roundtable together with uh, Annabel Rincon who co-leads Data Plus Women Zurich. Um, so do make sure to join that one at 2 p.m. Central European time. We do still have a number of uh, free seats. Or of course you can create your own round table. If you want to do that, make sure to maybe create it in advance. So you can already uh, check out the platform and create your round table and invite other people to join you there. So this is the URL where you can sign up, tableau.social27.com slash TL minus Europe. Um, so it's already open, it's completely free. Um, do join in and to make sure to check out the uh, uh, FAQ page if you have any questions. Um, yeah, you can find a lot of things there. My personal favorite is the virtual photo booth. And I think I have that in here. So can I just, just give me a sec? So yeah, you can check that out. Uh, you can take many of these fancy selfies. So you can see I was, I was the first one there this time. Um, and you can check out other fun selfies from other people, obviously, and create your own. On the... Yeah, so there's a number of tips. Make sure to sign in now just to just to take the time and check everything out, familiarize yourself with the space. Feel free to personalize your profile. So add a photo, add a bio if you like, uh, add your contacts if you like. Uh, make sure to check out the sessions and roundtables and share on social with, if you like, with the hashtag TableauLife21. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your fun virtual photo booth selfies and yeah that's the thing about tableau live so that's one main event coming up but of course data plus women germany is also uh, hosting a number of events so let me tell you about those we are looking forward to our two upcoming events we will continue to have events on the last Tuesday of the month at 6 p.m. Central European time. So that will be easy to remember. Coming up next uh, is our event on May 25th. So we are going to have Katarzyna Szymanska and she will talk about her data science journey. So how she found her way into data science, educated herself and built a career in data science. And then the month after that, so June 29th, we are hosting Simone Rehager, who will talk about uh, She Transforms IT, how uh, women in IT can move forward more, how we can bring more women into IT. For that, I'm going to do a quick survey, actually, because I would like to know, since we are Data Plus Women Germany, but we have been hosting events in English all this time, which one is your preferred language to attend Data Plus Women Germany in? Is it German or is it only English or are you fine with either language? And I'm going to give you a couple seconds to just make sure I collect all your replies. I already voted on Twitter. Ah, perfect, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna ask, wait for one or two more people. All right, 
it's pretty much 50 50 between English and either so um probably gonna stick with English but that is very good to know thank you so much uh yeah slightly tilted towards English perfect thank you so much um so yeah with that being said we do have another tiny survey um some of you have already filled that out uh which I'm very grateful for I am always trying to improve Data Plus Women Germany, try to make it uh, more uh, tailored towards your personal uh, preferences, your needs, uh, your desires. Um, so do help me make this the perfect platform for you. Uh, go to tiny.cc slash improve dash data plus women um, and just help me make this the best experience that you can possibly have. I'm doing my best. <laughs> and with that, we are finished for today. Uh, if you like, I am absolutely happy to, to stick around for a while. We did have a question in the chat. I'm just seeing this. Yes, we are recording this event as always. Um, so I will be sending out the follow up email with all the links that Eugenia mentioned for you to check out, as well as the link to the recording. So um, yeah, perfect. Thank you for answering that already. Um, if you want to stick around, we do have some time left. I'm going to stop the recording in a second and everybody who wants to stick around can do so. And we're just going to chat a bit if you like. So thank you for attending today. Have a lovely rest of the week. And again, Eugenia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, for the opportunity. And sorry, just give me a second. <laughs>